All right, after waiting all night for this to drop, watching a god-awful game of football, we finally have the new trailer for Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. Really pumped to see what they show us in this one, see if the story develops any further, we get any other hints of what's going on. I'll be looking for MODOK. I want to see MODOK. I want to see who he is. Let's check it out together. You're an interesting man. Scott Lane. Mm. Mm. You have a daughter, Cassie, but in jail. A lot of time, like me. Oh, interesting. We can help each other with that. Lost a lot of time, like me. Those five I'll years. I'm the man who can give you the one thing you want. What's that? More time. Time. Wow. He looks awesome. They can rewrite existence and shatter timelines. You cannot trust him. This looks trippy. I don't care who this guy is. Oh, it's him. Serious. It's Corey. It's uh, what's his name? Corey Stoll's character from the first one. He can give us a second chance. One thousand percent is him. And not that picture from before. Let me make this easy for you. Get some avatar crap you there. Bring me what I need. Or everything you call life will end. Oh. Beginning of a new dynasty. Oh, 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 oh. oh, well, there is the design. You thought you could win. I don't have to win. We both just have to lose. I said this the other day to a friend. If they kill off Ant Man. Oh my god, he looks awesome. He looks awesome. Oh my god. Oh my god. We got what I wanted. I wanted the first look at Modoc. I wanted to see what he was going to look like. Early on, if you catch it, he's in the background when they're moving through one of the doors, and it's totally Corey Stoll's character from the first film. It's his head. Then later on, we see the design that leaked a while ago that people were pretty pissed off about, where he's like more metallic, but that must be like some armor or something that pops up for some other reason. Wow, this looks, you know, it's kind of what we saw in the first trailer. There's a deal between the two. They're kind of helping one another out. But as we see the warnings uh, from his mom come true down the road, uh, we find out that, you know, Kang probably is going to go back on his word, can't be trusted, uh, and chaos ensues. Uh, I don't know that they're going to kill Ant-Man off, but I started thinking about this recently, that that would be a really interesting thing for them to do. But I, I just feel like his character just brings so much levity to so many movies when Ant-Man is involved that I don't know that they would want to get rid of him there. Uh, but interesting premise. He wants more time. He wants to experience the time that he lost with his daughter. Uh, and, you know, go back and I don't know what that looks like because you're seeing her as an older, you know, individual here and you don't necessarily want to be like, no, we're going to change it back. Um, and, you know, at the sacrifice of the world. But I'm really interested in this. I can't wait for this movie. They had said they wanted this movie to have a lot of weight to it, whereas the first two were kind of like, you know, the, the dessert, so to speak, for the heavier films that were out there. Uh, so it looks like they're moving that direction and it's kicking off phase five. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are, if you're excited for this movie and what you think of the trailer and hit subscribe to follow along for more.